Coach, you guys have done a great job with the bat so far this year. The last couple of days, not so much. What did you see out there? Well, you know, the, the first game yesterday, I thought we did a really good job against a, a good arm. Um, you know, we we got off to a slow start yesterday um, and just never really recovered from an emotional standpoint. Um, we, we played like a, a really immature team um, that, that, that didn't really know how to respond once we got kind of hit in the mouth. And it showed throughout the course of the game. You know, we we continue to give ourselves opportunities, uh, but but we just we did we did things that poor offenses do, uh, where you get in between timing, you expand the zone, um, you, you don't work uh, keep balls low the other way late with two strikes. And, uh, you know, we, we took hanging off speed pitches and and one zero counts. And, and when you do those things, you just don't give yourself a chance to consistently put a bass together or, or string innings together. And when you when you do have a little bit, you, you're consistent. You're constantly uh, with a couple guys on base and two outs, where you really run into you run into roadblocks there. With you got two guys on and two outs, you did it a bunch. Uh, where we didn't do it, we didn't put an entire inning together. Uh, and when you do that, there's just there's just not enough outs to be able to to, to, to score. Uh, you only have one day to turn around for well, uh, by rule, tomorrow is an off day, so uh, it's going to be a little bit on their on their own. But uh, you know, I told the guys we're the same team that we were the first three weeks, and we're also the same team that we were today. And so you 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 you've got the, the decision to make to to follow the roadmap to success or not. And so you know, every team goes through moments in a season. You know, when when things are are, are going really well, you think, hey, it's going to go like this forever. But they don't, right? Every team goes to their ebbs and their flows. Uh, the important thing is is to remember that you're still the good team that you have been for a long period of time, and and, and you don't have to be the team that you uh, that for 24 less than 24 hours where you weren't very good. So we're gonna have to put it behind us and, and go back to work. Now there's there also the thing is from an offensive standpoint. Now there's a little bit of a body of work, and so you have scouting reports, and you play a team like that that's a really good team that can really pitch and they execute. They're gonna find your weakness and they're gonna keep hitting it. And they're, and they're going to force you to adjust. So we're going to have to go back and, and, and find a little bit of that edge again and, and be able to play confidently. And uh, when, when somebody exposes your flaws, you, you can't just say, well, I guess I'm not good anymore. You just have to go fix those things and, and improve yourself. Uh, going into this weekend, San Diego has a lot of good hitters, a couple guys over 400 coming in. What was the struggle going against a lineup like that this week? Well, they're, they're incredibly simple and dutiful. And so they're, they're, they're not trying to hit the ball to the ballpark. They're trying to hit the ball uh, where it's pitched. I know it sounds super cliche, but when you're when you're very simple and you don't try to overpower the, the, the ball or overpower the game, you know, they're, they're kind of their, their small ball tactics. A little, a few hit and runs today. But you know, that that didn't really that didn't really uh, damage us. It was their it was their commitment to, to just being able to play, uh, you know, head high and, and through the backside of the field and, and not exposing any real holes. Right? And and we didn't pitch well, right? We didn't pitch well at all. Um, we we didn't execute pitches. We didn't execute two strike breaking balls. We didn't look at our fastball. Uh, we, we we were changing arm slots. We just uh, did a lot of really silly things that um, that, that that young teams that kind of have an emotional moment do and, and and those things showed themselves it's still so early on in the season so after a loss like this what do you tell your team to you know keep up their energy and let them know yes this isn't who we are this loss doesn't define us but it still is a learning experience so how do you keep your team's head up going from this well I, i've always been very honest with them uh, you know when they're good i tell them that it was good and when they struggle i, I tell them the truth on those things and uh, I think that honesty you know, carries it way forward in a moment like this, when uh, when you can have a, a very direct conversation about uh, you know, what allowed us to have success it are the same things that will allow us to have success. That baseball hasn't changed in a hundred and some odd years, and it's not going to change uh, dramatically. So the same things that we did before, we have to do again. And when you don't do those things, you get you get punished. And then when you struggle and then you become emotional, then it really compounds the problem, right? You get emotional and you try to, to make a play that you can't make or, or you, you deviate even more from that. And you can see some of those things in, in the base running mistakes. Like those are things that you know, we, 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 we work on, you practice those things, and but you get emotional in a moment and you kind of lose track of yourself. And, and before you know it, you make a, a really uh, 
silly play. Yeah. So uh, just having an honest conversation and, and being able to take it back to the things that we've done. And, and, and like I told him, like I told you guys before, and if we started the season 0-6 or 6-0, I always tell the guys that too, that it's, it's, it doesn't matter as to, to, the, to the journey. So it's a marathon and we'll just continue to go back to work and um, and, and do those things. But we'll, we'll get back to it and, and we'll be fine. Um, it, you know, you, you have these moments and then as a coach, your, your job is to make sure that they're teaching moments and that they're opportunities to learn and they don't define who you are as a person. And, and then you're able to, to recover from those things. On a much lighter note, the, uh, Thank you. the, uh, <laughs> the uh, Sunday Reds were gone today. I know you're not a fan of those generally. Was there a yeah, backstory you, you, there? You, you figured that out, huh? Yes. I knew yeah. something, you said the blast or something, like you saw them in your locker and you thought they were kind of like, like, like just like a joke or something like that. It was yeah. just a story you wanted to... Well, the, yeah, the issue know. is I'm, I'm built like a like a Lego. I'm built like a sack of <laughs> potatoes, and I didn't think that red made me look good. <laughs> no, I uh, I just uh, I, I wasn't uh, necessarily a, a huge fan of the of the all red. And I know they're they're popular in those things. And I'm, I'm not like I'm in no way like a fashion aficionado. <laughs> uh, my, my wife dresses me half the time, and, and, uh, but I just wasn't a wasn't as, as big of a fan and I thought these I thought the creams are really nice and so we, uh, we we went with those but I don't know after we play today maybe I should bring the Reds back and <laughs> bring back a little bit of positive energy to the group so it's potentially a, I mean did you come into the season it's obviously not a big deal did you like come kind of like enter the season it's not planning to happen ever. yeah kind the of moment like... the season was over last year okay. <laughs> the second the season was over if you're my honest I'm always honest the second the season was over to be quite frank with you how many different uniform combinations does the team have I have no idea <laughs> I don't they just they put it in my locker and I wear what they I didn't even know we had reds all reds until uh, I went in my locker the day that we the first day we wore them so I don't I don't look at that stuff much uh, Ditton, Ditton does those things, and when we order new uniforms, uh, Ditton designs them and orders them and says, are these okay? And I'm like, sounds good, as long as the boys like them. And, and, and we were like, we're following the protocol, but I'm okay with it, because uh, it's the Indian, not the Arrow, right? So as long as they like them, that's what matters. Hey, Coach. Hey, Coach. Have a good day.